Welcome back to the PowerPoint series of video tutorials from Activia Training. In our next short tutorial, we're going to have a look at controlling our PowerPoint presentations. Okay, so I'm going to open up PowerPoint. And I should have an example file there. Yes, running presentations. Okay, this is a very simple presentation. Okay, so I've got eight slides on there, no graphics. Uh, we've got some transitions, but no animations on the bullet points. It's just going to speed things up a little bit. Okay, so the classic way of running a presentation, of course. Uh, head down to the bottom right-hand corner on the taskbar. We can click Slideshow. Okay, I'll just escape out of that. So, uh, obviously, if we want to kill the presentation early, we press Escape. Uh, or I could go to the Slideshow tab, and on the left-hand side, run from the beginning. Or, if I'm on a different slide, run from the current slide. Okay, so I'm going to run from the beginning, and there is my presentation. Now, normally, to progress through the slides, well, we're going to click. And it moves on to the next slide. Or press the space bar. Or page down perhaps okay and the down arrow will do the same thing now how do we go back again well page up will take me to the previous slide and then the up arrow the previous slide as well so I can backtrack all the way back to the beginning like that now if I've got a uh, deck of say 50 slides and uh, I'm on slide 23 and I want to go back all the way to slide 5 let's say uh, pressing the up arrow or page up repeatedly, well, it's uh, not overly effective. So another way of navigating through our presentation is to use the keyboard shortcut. All right, so I want to jump very quickly to slide number five. Let's say I press five on the keyboard and enter, and it jumps me straight to slide number five and on to two, enter, and back to two into the beginning, slide one, and enter. And there you go. So a very quick way. Now, obviously, we have to know our slide numbers uh, doing that. OK, but uh, we could have a little printout telling us exactly which slide we want to go to. OK, um, alternatively, of course, what I could do is get a list of all of the slides. Now, there's a couple of ways uh, of doing this. One way would be to press Control S and that will pop up the all slides dialog. There it is. OK, so now I can select a particular slide, click go to. And it jumps to that slide for me. Now, incidentally, uh, quite often we may have a lot of content in a slide, uh, particularly with pictures. We may want to get a closer look uh, at that picture. So if I press the plus key on the slide, it will zoom in. OK, once it's zoomed in, I then get a hand icon, which allows me to pan through the presentation or rather through the slide. OK, now uh, to zoom back out again, I press minus and once more, I think, and that's it. Now, if I take the uh, zooming out a little bit too far, one more minus at that point, then I will end up in slide sort of view, which, of course, is another way of identifying a slide I want to go to. Give it a click and it will jump to that point. OK, so some quick and easy ways there of navigating through our presentation. Now, what if we want to uh, just stop or pause the presentation for a second, not leave the slide on screen? Now, what I don't want to have to do is press Escape. I'm back into PowerPoint. What I could do is just press W. OK, so pressing W in the middle of the presentation will white out the screen. And another press of W will bring it back again. Now, if that bright white screen shocks your audience a little bit, the alternative is B. And that blacks out the screen. And another B will bring it back again. OK, so a quick way of hiding the presentation temporarily there. OK, now our next element is what about annotations? OK, so I might want to draw somebody's attention to a particular point uh, on a slide. Uh, I could do that simply by pressing Control A. OK, so that will throw up the arrow. Normally the arrow disappears. OK, so the arrow is there. I can point things out on the slide as I'm talking about them or control P okay control P actually puts up a pen and the pen allows me to add annotations to the screen okay now what if I want to get rid of those annotations well I can use the eraser so control E 
uh, we'll change the cursor to an eraser. Using the eraser, I can click, click, and click, and erase individual annotations. Now let's put a few more back on there. Okay, so we'll make a little bit of a mess of this slide. I've got quite a few annotations on this time. Rather than use the eraser, control E and remove them individually. A single click of E will erase everything on the screen. Okay, now another way of uh, drawing people's attention would be to use uh, the highlighter. This time it's control I and I get a highlighter. So I can then highlight individual elements like that. That does take a little bit of skill and control to get that perfect. And again, E will erase it. Control H will hide the eraser, um, rather the highlighter. And it will hide the eraser and any of the tools we've got, so including the arrow. Okay. And uh, a final way of highlighting things is to use the laser pointer. And this is Control L. <coughs> okay, so we just get a much better brighter cursor there which allows me to point various elements out on the screen okay so there you go quite a few shortcuts and different ways of highlighting information on the screen whilst you're given a presentation okay so i hope you found that useful i look forward to seeing you on the next video tutorial